Hey there, how's it going? In this video, we're gonna talk about how to order BFS gear from overseas, China, Japan. You know, as bait finesse or BFS style fishing becomes more popular, you can find more and more stuff on Amazon. You're starting to see some of the stuff on different major retailers' websites. You can even order some tackle from places like Fish USA. But you know, a lot of the really cool stuff and a lot of the best deals are coming out of China and Japan. So in this guide, I'm gonna walk you through ordering from AliExpress, which is really the, the, the biggest source in China that people are getting BFS gear from, and also some of the JDM sites like Digitaka and Japan Lure Shop, because a lot of you have said, hey, is this okay to order from? And when I see in some of the different forums, people are saying, is this an okay site to order from? And while the ones that I'm gonna cover aren't the only good sites, they're the ones that I use and they're the ones that I trust. And so I'm gonna just walk you through some of the details on those. I have traveled to, worked, negotiated, shopped in Japan and China. So I was already pretty familiar with doing business in those countries. So when I started ordering from places like AliExpress, it wasn't that big of a deal. But I gotta admit, I'm like, okay, well, hopefully this stuff shows up. You, you just didn't know. At this point, I, I have no real concerns, but there are pitfalls to watch out for. And, and so I wanna help you be able to order the gear you crave at the price you deserve, you know, and uh, hopefully some of the things that I share will give you a little bit more comfort and maybe protect you from a, a few of the things that could, you know, that could make the deal go bad. So let's talk about AliExpress. Uh, I'll probably have to wear my glasses most of the time here, but when you go to AliExpress, you know, you come to a home page and it's, it's like any other website. Uh, you can basically search for something like, let's do Daiwa Tatula 80. Right? And so you type that in and it brings up a bunch of results. So when I look through the results here, the first things that I start looking for are maybe stores that I've, I've bought from before, but let's say you're new and this is the first time you've done this. So I start looking at how the first, very first thing, I start looking at how many have they sold. You know, so like this one, 78 sold, 81 sold. So they've sold a good bit of those. But if I scroll down here, here, let's look at this one. This one, they've only sold one. Uh, and in this case, it's not like it's a great price, so you may not be tempted to buy from them, but it is a really good example of things that I wanna show you. If you look down here at the name of this store, it's like shop 110289, you know, it's, uh, it's not a name, it's just a made up number. It's probably the default name that AliExpress gives a store when it started. So that's a huge red flag to me. It's also that they've only sold one. I wouldn't click on this store normally just because there's already two red flags and it's like that's too much for me. But when I look at it, I'm like okay, they've got 103 followers, which might seem like a lot, but we'll get to that. And they've got 96.7% positive feedback. Uh, they do seem to have all of them in stock. Uh, they're charging shipping, which a lot of places on Alley are charged or are, are free shipping. So I, you know, right now there's just a lot of like okay. So if I go to one of the the sites that uh, has sold a good bit more of these. They have 20, almost 22,000 followers. They've got 98.7% uh, feedback. This is West Door Fishing Tackle. It's some place that I've bought from before. Also, you see they have this little gold symbol right here. Uh, it means that they are one of their, their better performers. You can click on this and see that they've been open since 2014. If we go back to the previous store, when did they start? Well, you know what? It's better than I thought. They've been there since June 15th. Sometimes you see these deals that are almost too good to be true and the store has been open less than 30 days. Again, huge red flag. But this is still, you know, they're a newer store, but in eight months now, they haven't been able to come up with a name for their store. I don't know. Uh, just, it, just too many red flags for me. You know, so at the end of the day, it might be worth paying, you know, three or five dollars more to, to get it from one of the bigger stores. West Door was offering free shipping, which is awesome. So, you know, if we look at uh, another reel, the Pure Lore, the Pure Lore Silver Feather. Some people are starting to talk about, I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, but I, it, it's coming soon. So you'll, you'll see that out on the water here pretty soon. You can see that right now, I think when I picked it up, it was closer to a hundred bucks, might've been under a hundred during the 11.11 sale. Um, but you can see there's a couple stores here that have sold one and sold two. Now this is a new reel, so I don't expect the numbers to be super high like some of the other stuff. Um, but if you just scroll down a little bit, 
Pure Lore's official store has sold 75. Granted, it's a little bit more. And so that's one of those situations where it's like, okay, well, should you pay more? If I look at the, you know, so again, this one store where it's $10 cheaper, they've got 27 followers. Uh, but if we look at the Pure Lore Outdoor Store, they have 4,650 followers. So it's just, sometimes you got to use your mind. So I guess when I order it, I'm like, well, it's $100 and I don't know if it's a good reel at all. I might be blowing a hundred bucks. You know, but if losing or ha not having access, I mean, there's a chance you'd lose it, but odds are AliExpress is going to step in. I've had stuff not arrive before and I got my money back eventually, but it's like 75, 90 days by the time you get everything done and, and the money gets back. So a little bit of a downside. And again, it's why I try to be very aware, even now that I've made dozens, maybe scores of orders from AliExpress over the years, I still try to make sure that I'm ordering from a, a well-known store that has a good track record. You know, again, we'll look at the Pure Lore Outdoor Store. They've been around for three and a half years. Another one we could look at would be the Dark Wolf Ultra. Still one of the best budget bait finesse reels out there. There are a ton of places selling this. And so, uh, again, you can see the Soranoia official store. It says that they've sold 276. But there are other stores that are in the single digits. Or the Soranoia official store, again, they have that gold, gold symbol. Uh, it's been open since 2019. 99% positive feedback. Um, it, you know, anything above 98 is really good. They've got 50,000 followers. Versus then, you look at one of the other stores. They've got 389 with 97.6, which isn't horrible. So, again, it's just... How much money are you willing to risk? Now, when I first started buying on AliExpress, you know that one of the knocks was the shipping just takes forever. Like sometimes it would be months, but they're really starting to, to close that in. So anytime that you see something that's listed as being a choice item, and it's usually right here in this box, I think almost all of Kingdom stuff falls into that category. You can see on the on the wider screen that it's you know listed right down here at the bottom. This is almost like Prime on Amazon. Uh, and it says 11 day delivery. Well, I, I got to tell you, so I placed an order on December 30th. So right at the end of the end of the year for these little topwater beetle lures. And I won't need them until, you know, I, I, they might actually work for trout season. So that's part of why I wanted them for like early spring. But, you know, it's a little order. It was like 15 bucks. I think I got five of them or something like that. I ordered them on December 30th. So they arrived on January 8th. So it was like it, it was literally eight days from the time I ordered to the time it got here. So there are things on AliExpress that are starting to get here faster, which is pretty impressive. But eight days on this order, it's one of my fastest deliveries from AliExpress. So that choice thing, it does make a difference. It, even during the 1111 sale, when they had tons of stuff being shipped, I did get some of my stuff in that 11 day window. So that's sort of the basics of AliExpress. If you're going to shop from AliExpress, if you use my link below, it helps me almost as much as if you like and subscribe and, and save this video for, for future reference. That link, it doesn't cost you anything extra, but if you buy anything, I get a little percentage of the commission and it all adds up and allows me to keep making some of these cool videos. So with that, let's move on to the JDM stuff. In cars and in fishing tackle, you know, JDM carries this special, you know, it's a symbol of quality. It's almost like a, a sign of reverence, but it's this Japanese market and they are extremely passionate about some of the stuff that they get into and fishing is one of them. Right now in the United States, the exchange rate is very favorable. So you can pick up Japanese fishing gear at a pretty discounted rate compared to what we could even two years ago. And definitely several years ago, you know, you know, JDM stuff would have been much more expensive. So I'm going to start with Digitaka. Digitaka is where I order from most. It's where I shop from first these days. I think part of it is, is because I'm typically looking for a brand, right? And so when I look at, at Digitaka's w website, everything is sorted for the most part by brand first. Now, if you're just, if you're looking for trout spoons, this becomes a little bit more difficult and it's harder to, to it's kind of harder to discover new things on Digitaka. So that may be the one drawback. I think their communication is fantastic. And again, the fact that I'm typically looking for something from a specific brand, it's like, okay, well, then that tells me what it is. So if we go to Daiwa, we look at Reel, go to Casting Reel. Let's go down and see what they have in stock of the SS Air, uh, sort of the new BFS Reel. 
So when you first click on a product, it'll come in, it tells you, sort of, it, it, it'll tell you if it's in stock or not. When it says it ships in three days, then it's in stock. When it says only one left or only three left, it's telling you like they're almost out of stock. And if it says out of stock, then obviously they have no stock. So let's click in on the left. On the, on the main page, it shows the price to you in yen. But one of the things that I like is it, on the once you click into the specific product so this was the left-handed reel it gives me dollars it gives me euros uh, i think it gives me not sure what the other two are australian dollars it gives me uh it's so and that might be rubles for russia and if that's not the currency of russia i'm sorry for any any of my russian folks that are watching you can see it the other thing that they sort of tell you like what's being purchased right now and so that might give you a little bit of an idea of some of the hot stuff but i again i'm typically looking for just what am i you know what am i trying to buy so the fact that they you know they, they give you the price right there you can pay by credit card you can pay by paypal with digitaka so one of the things on all platforms especially aliexpress but the other platforms make sure that you're buying with something that has buyer protection so use your major credit card uh, if you're using a debit card that's backed by like mastercard or visa it gives you the same buyer protection the downside is there the money comes right out of your account and then you you have to work to get the money back refunded into your checking account but i use uh, a, a business debit card all the time you know sort of my you know phishing uh, a, account but that's not money that i'm looking to pay bills with at the house so just you know that's but just make sure that however you're shopping PayPal has pretty good buyer protection as well. So I don't hesitate to use PayPal sometimes when I have money sitting in a PayPal account. I'll just, I'll go ahead and spend it on fishing gear. I, I usually spend it on fishing gear, to be honest with you. So the other thing with Digitaka, if you look here, it says free shipping on this reel. So I, just a little pro tip to give you. If you're going to buy a reel, get a few lures as well. Like find a few things that you've wanted to try or, or stock up on some of your favorites because you'll also get free shipping on those those lures. Uh, like you can't add a fishing rod or something that, that something larger. And I don't know what the limit is on how much can you throw in, um, but if you're talking normal lures, they, they probably really don't mind. So that's just a little pro tip there when you're ordering from Digitaka. It's a way to, to save a little bit on some shipping that maybe you'd pay later in, in the year. So the next site I want to talk about is Japan Lure Shop. So they have it broken down first by like product type here on the menus, and then you can go down into the 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 brands, and then what is the the reel that you're you're going to look at. So since we looked at the SS Air on Digitaka, we'll look at it on Japan Lure Shop. So it comes up, it says it's in stock. You can get either either one. But here's here's maybe one of the negatives on on Japan Lore Shop is, you know they, they they show the price in yen right off the bat, but you don't have to let that bother you because if you just go to Google and type in yen to dollar conversion, it'll tell you, it, it's real easy to figure out what this price is. So you just type in forty four thousand one hundred yen, and you'll see it's two hundred ninety seven dollars. And this is where you get into, um, let me get the left hand. This is where you get into sometimes trying to make the decision like where where am I going to buy from? Because if you remember, Digitalk was like 315. Um, if we estimate the shipping and tax here on, if we then we can estimate the shipping and tax and sort of get an idea what the total is. So I always recommend in order to get it fast and in order to get it moving, um, they basically say you know best way. And I recommend that from all the Japanese sites. They seem to take a, a lot of pride in being very efficient uh, and, and giving you the best possible service. So when you select that best way table rate, uh, at this point, for this reel, it's 2,360 yen. Okay, so now that we know what the shipping is going to be, we can put in 46,460 and see it's 313. Uh, um, you know, and honestly, usually it's really close to the same price whenever you're shipping, whenever you're buying from Japan Lure Shop or from Digitaka. Sometimes there is, I've had up to a $40 difference, but usually it's within $10 or $20. So why would you order from Japan Lure Shop instead of from Digitaka? Well, for one, on the lure side of things, for sure, I've found out that 
the, some of the different sites that I use, and it's the reason I have four different places that I order from on a fairly regular basis, unfortunately, they carry different product lines. And so you, you can't get, you know, it's not like going to a Dick's Sporting Goods or, or whatever your local chain is. You don't see like mostly the same stuff. I mean, there's a lot of the same stuff, but you, like even Kitech, like a big name like that, you don't find all of the same products at each one of these these sellers. So I don't know how that breaks down and, and what are the decisions, but the reason Japan Lore Shop is my second favorite is they always throw a free lure in whenever you make an order. And so if you just order a handful of lures, you're gonna get a freebie. Uh, and like some of my favorites are, I, I've gotten a Mega Bass, Mega Bass Karashi, which was awesome. I've gotten a great hunting GH46 uh, in a really cool color. I've also gotten that same lure in a color that I've ordered from them before, and I think it was a color that I, I had in the order. So here's the thing, I've also gotten a couple like huge buzz, or like I got a huge chatterbait, I got a big topwater frog, which is a really nice frog. I think it was a an 18 or a $20 frog but it, it's just heavier than anything I can throw. So if you're very sort of gracious and humble and say, hey, I appreciate the free lures and just say, I'm a bait finesse fisherman. And so I don't use anything over eight grams or 10 grams. In the event you wanna include something, it would be great. It would be something that fits in the style of fishing I do. And, and I've done that a couple of times because after I got a couple of those big lures, I'm like, what the, look at what I'm ordering. Um, and they, they always leave a nice little note and include something really cool. So Japan Lore Shop, they don't make it maybe quite as easy. There's maybe one extra step just to really understand the full price. Uh, I haven't found a way to, to switch their site over to, well, wait a minute, wait a minute. Maybe it's there now, US dollar. Looky there. So now in Japan Lore Shop, I finally found it. See, and that's why I do these videos, I learned. So you don't even have to do the, the yen to dollar conversion. But there are other times when you, you're going to need to know that probably. I always call this the Asian Fishing Portal, but it's Asian Portal Fishing. Uh, it's another great site. What I've found here is sometimes they have lures that are hard to find on the other sites. Uh, it's mainly what I've, I've purchased from Asian Portal. I may have bought a few other things because, you know, I've, click, 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 click. I've, I've bought a good bit of stuff. But this is Asian Portal Fishing. Same thing. They have a, um, they're, they're, they're set up by rods first and then by types of rods. Over on the left, you can see by brand if you want to sort by brand. So that's Asian Portal Fishing. The last one is Platt. It's a weird name, weird web address too. And so this is one that I see people ask a lot, a lot about because sometimes they have amazing sales. Um, they have a really good selection of, of stuff in general. But people are like, is this an okay site? Because the, the website is platt.co.jp. JP is for Japan, that's the country uh, um, extension. When you, it's a little old looking, but you can click on the, the home page and then you can go down here. If it's not in English or whatever channel you want it to be in, you can switch to that. Ooh, a new duo trout lure. Let's take a look at this. Uh, I do like that they, they also have like their some of their, their heads up stuff. Okay, so it's one of these little guys. Currencies, you can switch it over here to dollars. So at this point, all of the four that I use, they are showing in, in, in dollars. So you can see $13 lure. So that's Platt. The last thing I want to talk about is eBay. eBay doesn't sell hardly anything themselves. Like they do some shipping supplies and stuff for their sellers. But in general, they're just a, a marketplace. Like if I search for Conquest BFS, I start looking for, for potential red flags if I'm, I'm shopping for something. A sponsored post, usually that means they're putting extra money towards it. And so it, it's probably okay. But if I look at this, like a lot of these pictures look like they're from the same person. So what I would do is, you know, like this one here. Who's selling this? They got OK, Marshmallow Corporation. Um, if all of these are from the Marshmallow Corporation, then I'm probably like, OK. This one, though, so 100% positive. Again, it looks like the exact same table it looks like the same photo just rotated so that's where i start having some some potential issues right so this one's a really good price looks like it's from the same thing um honestly this looks look and looky here so 
that looks like the same photo as some of the other ones. So this is where I start having a little bit of concerns. All right, I, I've got what looks like the same product, the same photos on multiple listings. So that's where I start relying on that data, like, okay, who are they like, All right? And so when I look at two of my favorites, Shim Reels Tackle is, is one that I buy from. Uh, never had any problems. I did have one thing get lost, but they took care of it. 932,000, they've sold almost a million items on eBay. They've got 16,000 followers. And when you look in their shop, they've got almost 44,000 items for sale. Right? This is a big time seller. They actually have their own website. I do tend to find better deals and their shipping seems to be um, better most of the time on eBay. So I just buy from them on eBay. The other one that I like for some JDM stuff is North One Tackle. It's another actual tackle shop in Japan. They've sold 43,000 items. They've got 5,000 followers and they've got 7,000 items for sale on eBay right now. Their prices on the Calcutta Conquest are more what you'd expect to see. So sometimes for me, like when it's like, it's too good to be true, is it too good to be true? If you wanna take and roll the dice on a $240 Conquest, make sure you do it in a way that you're protected from buyer protection. Because one of the scams that sometimes these guys run is they will ship you some trinket, right? So now they have tracking information. They say, no, we shipped, it's delivered, here's the tracking. On eBay, that'll, that'll probably close it and you'll end up fighting this through your credit card company. So again, I'm not saying that this seller is, is bad. I, all I'm saying is it looks like the exact same background and in some cases the exact same photos from four at least four different resellers and in that case it makes me pause it makes me say okay well, who is the real reseller what's well, probably the one that has a little bit higher price you know like a thousand feedback instead of the ones that have 10 or 20 and 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 the the quality is low honestly almost anything below 98 percent on ebay is is Again, a little bit of a red flag. The, you know, between 95, 98, you're probably okay. But once you get down below 90, like now they're they're on the verge of paying extra fees. And they're already one of the worst sellers on eBay. So eBay can be cool. I'll have some links to Shim Reels and um, North One Tackle in, in the link as well. So again, if you are in the description as well. So when it comes to shipping from Japan, I have found that they're generally very fast. And in fact, every JDM site that I've ordered from, whether it's Digitaka, Japan Lore Shop, um, Asian Portal, Plat, they've all arrived faster than any order I've placed from Tackle Warehouse. And, and quite frankly, it's part of why I don't order from Tackle Warehouse, unless they're the only ones that I can find in the US that are selling the item I want. Uh, I definitely prefer Fish USA over Tackle Warehouse because Again, Fish USA, I might have it in two days. From Japan, it's not unusual for me to have it in three or four days. And that's not business days, that's calendar days. Uh, and so, uh, again, they are amazing with the shipping. Uh, and it's almost always FedEx, which is, which is pretty cool too. Again, just be smart when you're shopping from overseas. If you do have questions, you know, jump into one of the one of the forums. You know, the you know the finesse fishing forum that's run by Adrian from the Constant Angler. There's over 10,000 bait finesse guys in there, and there are a handful of not only YouTubers but guys that really know what they're talking about, um, and a handful of real tra tackle junkies in there as well. So, if you have a question about a site being legitimate. Go to one of the Facebook groups like that. Maybe search for that site first uh, instead of creating a new post that maybe somebody just asked two days ago. Um, but if you don't see much there, ask, say, hey, what do you guys know about this site? And it's just another way to use some of the bait finesse community to make sure that you know you protect yourself a little bit. But you don't need to be afraid of ordering. You know, just be smart. Follow some of the tips that I've laid out. You too can buy some awesome gear from overseas and save a ton of cash. That just lets you buy more stuff, right? So, hey, everybody likes more tackle. Hey, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.